For today's video, we will answer a suggested problem coming from one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Solve for the real value of n that satisfies this equation. n plus square root of n plus square root of n plus square root of n until infinity equals 529. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. All right. So, our goal here is to solve for the real value of n that satisfies this equation. n plus square root of 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 n until infinity equals 529. So, to answer this question, so let's get this equation. Now, what we're going to do in this equation is, why not? Let's get the square root on both sides. And take note, since n is a real number, therefore the left-hand side must be greater than 0. So the value of this must be greater than 0. So if this is greater than 0, so we have square root of 529, we want the positive value of this number. And square root of 529, we can simply do that in our head, and we know this is just 23. So the value of square root of n plus 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 square root of n until infinity is just 23. Now, let's get the original equation. And take note of this. We have square root of n plus 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 square root of n until infinity. And we know this value. We said earlier that this, this is equal to 23. Therefore, we can replace this with 23. So, our original equation becomes n plus 23 equals 529 because, take note, the whole thing is just 23 because the value of square root of n plus square root of n plus square root of n until infinity is just 23. So we have n plus 23 equals 529, and if we subtract 23 on both sides to solve for the value of n, we get n equals 529 minus 23, or simply equal to 506. And that is the value of n. Therefore, given this equation, n plus square root of n plus square root of n plus square root of n plus until infinity equals 529, then the real value of n is just 506. And as always, we are done.